Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jara and I am back with another video. If you're new here, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you my updated twist out routine. Isn't it super, super cute? And it includes the banding method, which is something very new for me. I just recently started doing it, so I was like, why don't I just do a video for you guys and show you guys the step by step? Wanna see how I got these cute results? Keep watching. Okay guys, so I'm taking my towel down. I just rinsed out my conditioner from my wash day routine and I'm gonna get started with my twist out. So I'm gonna part my hair into about four sections so that I can work through my twist that way, which will give me about 12 twists all over my head. Taking my spray bottle, I'm just going to drench my hair with water in that section just to make it easier for the brush to glide through and I'm using my easy detangler brush. Y'all, this is my BFF. I use her like every day. And now I'm applying my Camille Rose Honey Leave into that section. If you want moisture, this is going to be your best. And I'm making sure that I smooth it throughout that section so that my hair can absorb the product. Y'all see what that product did to my hair? I mean, look at it. Now I'm just taking my wide tooth comb and I'm gonna part my hair into three sections so that will give me about three twists to work with for this part. I'm gonna brush that smaller section again just to make sure that it's fully detangled and then I'm just going to re-wet that section again for moisture. You wanna make sure that, that section is fully wet so that it can absorb the product. Going in with my Emerge Cream, I'm just gonna apply that to that section. This cream is perfect for twist outs. It's gonna give us moisture to last for up to like seven days, if not longer. And I'm just making sure that I smooth it through that entire section. And then I'm going to start the flat twisting process. I have a video on my channel that walks through it a little better, but I'm just going to make sure that I take two pieces at the top of this section and slowly start twisting down to my scalp. And as I twist down the side of my scalp, I'm slowly adding in the other pieces of that section. And that's how you'll get it to twist to your scalp. I'm going to be sure to link down some how to flat twist videos in the description box that helped me when I was learning how to flat twist. And then once I get to the end of the twist, I'm just gonna lightly coil the ends to give it a little bit more definition. And then I'm just gonna repeat these same steps on the next section. Like I mentioned before, you're just gonna grab your two sections and then you're gonna twist down the sides of your scalp. So as I'm twisting down, I have my two parts and I'm slowly gathering other pieces of the section to make sure that it sticks to my scalp. I didn't mention it in the first twist, but I do go in and add that Aunt Jackie's gel on the ends just to give it some more extra definition. That's it, let's speed it up.
Okay, my twists are all done. Now I'm just gonna sit under the dryer for about 15 minutes, just so that my hair is not super drenched when I apply the scrunchies. All right, we're all done, so let's go in and do our banding. I'm gonna be using regular scrunchies, and I'm just gonna be using about four per section. Grabbing two twists from that section, I'm just gonna apply a scrunchie at the top portion of that section. And then from there, I'm just gonna work my way down the twist, leaving space in between each scrunchie. Also, I'm wrapping the scrunchie about three to four times just to give it enough tension, but not too much to stretch the twist. Then I'm gonna to continue to band the rest of my twists. Y'all, look at the difference in length already. And we're all done. Now I'm just gonna let this dry overnight. Okay, y'all, I'm not gonna lie. It's about two days later and my hair is definitely fully dry. I left this in for about two days and now we're gonna take it out. I'm just gonna coat my fingers with some oil just to make sure that I'm eliminating as much frizz as possible. I'm really making sure that I'm taking my time and slowly removing my scrunchies. Then I'm gonna apply a little bit more oil to my fingers and then I'm gonna slowly start unraveling my twist. I'm also gonna twist my hair in the opposite direction just to make it easier for that twist to unravel. Right here, you can see a little better how I'm twisting that twist in the opposite direction before I start to unravel the twist. And that just takes off some time when you're unraveling it. And it also helps with the frizz as well, which I don't really mind, but this is for the girls who don't like the frizz. And we're all done, y'all. These twists look so defined and super, super cute, but let's make it bigger. I'm just gonna take my pick and coat it with some oil. This will help with frizziness as well. And just to make sure that my curls are still defined while I'm picking my twist out to add more volume.
I also try not to pick it out too much because I know that it'll naturally get bigger over time. So I'm just being very careful with how I pick it out. All right, y'all, so there you have it. This is my updated twist out routine. It gives me a little length and it's super, super cute. Y'all, make sure that you try this banding method out. You'll love it. If you're new here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.